Now let's go for a quick concrete shader. I'm going to add a new standard surface material and assign it. Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Octane for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 20 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Octane for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. Rename it to Concrete. Increase the base layer weight to 1. And use Lambertian as the diffuse VRDF model. Add a new image texture node and load this Concrete 01D. D stands for diffuse. Change the color space to sRGB and use it as the base color input. For the reflection roughness map, copy the texture. Change the color space to non-color data for the same reason as the parquet roughness map. Let's invert the texture by adding an invert node after the texture. and connect the invert node to the specular roughness input. The reason I didn't use the invert checkbox in the image texture node is because I need the texture to remain at its original state as I'll be using it for the bump mapping in a moment as well. And for the bump map, connect the original specular roughness map to the bump input of the material. and lower the bump height to 0.002. And that's a simple concrete shader. I didn't use the noise map here for that overall waviness. You can do that as well, but here the surface is rough and that imperfection won't be visible on these types of surfaces. And here is our final concrete shader. Let me show you a high resolution render of this shader as well. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Octane, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift and much more. See you in the next one.